Uh, Pisces, we're going to do your no contact energy. We're going to see what's coming in. Guys, if you need anything, check out that description. Readings through me are open. Keen offer. First 10 minutes, only $1.99. All of the good things are down there. My second channel is down there if you want to check it out. I was trying to do a Pisces Twin Flame reading. The energy is way too heavy right now. So for some of you that's dealing with the Twin Flame, comment down below if you're feeling that. Because I'm, I feel like I'm on the verge of a panic attack, to be honest with you. I tried to do the reading four or five times. And about five minutes in, I would get so mad that I wanted to throw something. And I've not been like that in like six years, guys. And it's frustration. It's tension. I feel like the energy between someone and their twin flame is getting so tense that you could you could literally cut the tension with a knife. And I feel like you both can feel it. So we're going to put that off for a few because oh, I can't handle it today. Okay, what do we have for no contact? How is this no contact viewing Pisces? Actually, let's get an overall for this. Let's get a shenanigans. Let's get an overall for this no contact. Don't forget about the giveaway at 30,000. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to enter. Protected, okay. So you're protected, you're safe, you're divinely guided, you've done the work, abundance is flowing to you. With no contact though, y'all, this one come out as well, that somebody could be wanting to come in for a second chance. You know, it could be somebody that you went through an experience with for you both to learn a lesson with one another. And one of the lessons for you is to show forgiveness. And as I said, that transformation. So that's what I'm getting. There could definitely be a transformation happening between you and this no contact person. You seeing things differently. You opening your heart, expanding it enough to where you can forgive this person truly. And for some of you, it's forgiving yourself. How's this person viewing Pisces? They view you as someone who's very independent, abundant. You know, you're doing very well on your own. This is someone who has the ability to live a really good and fulfilling life. Someone who knows what they have just by their self as an individual. They view you as someone who, you know, maybe you're resting. Maybe you're taking a step back. But they view you as someone who, for once in your life, Pisces, do you know who you're choosing? Yourself. And I feel like this person, especially with the page of air, this person could be definitely keeping tabs. There's a very inquisitive mindset here with how this person's viewing you, wanting to know more, wanting to dig and kind of see what you're doing, what's going on. I mean, when this card comes up, I can sometimes think of someone, you know how we'll get online and start Googling and we'll find their MySpace, their Facebook, their Twitter. Hell, some of y'all, if you got a YouTube, they'll find your YouTube. Whatever you have. Like, we're going to dig. We're going to dig. I'm very inquisitive at this point. And that's how this person's viewing you. They're wanting to get to know more about you. What are you up to? What are you doing? What are you putting your energy into? Because how this person's viewing you right now, it seems to be working for you. You detaching your energy and having the strength to take yourself out of some games, whether it be going after someone you want, being that go get a friend for that person. You know, you've had the strength to detach and say, this is my season to focus on myself. This is my season to give back into myself, to rest, to reflect, but to ultimately choose myself. And this person really, 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 I just heard I admire that. There's a very grounding energy about you right now. You seem very grounded, stable. You know, like when you meet someone and they, they're very, they're dressed very well, they're very poised, they just come off really put together, like they're the ultimate mad daddy of like all people, and it isn't anything that they're necessarily doing, it's just how they carry themselves. That is you right now. It is how you're carrying yourself. How's this person feeling towards you? There is a wall up, I'm guarded, 
feeling a little off balance, feeling like they're trying to let go of their fear. You know, it's interesting because I feel like this person is overthinking. I feel like the more that they think about you or the more that they try to keep tabs on you, the more that you knock them off their balance. I feel like they don't want you to see that, though. With the Seven of Wands, there's a very guarded, defensive energy. With the Five of Cups, it's paying attention to the things that aren't working out or having a very negative attitude right now. So this person, although you could be doing very well and they see you doing very well, they could be feeling even more off balance, more guarded, more disappointed, more sad. So it's like, shall we, shall we, shall we, God bless America, shall we say justice? Those scales are balancing, you know? How is this person feeling for you? You know, with the fool in the reverse, they feel like there's been an ending here. An ending to what they felt like was their happiness. Something that made them fulfilled. So right now, they could definitely feel that a new beginning isn't possible because they're paying attention to something where maybe they had fear or they were unlevel or ungrounded or unstable in their own life to where they let something hold them back so they had a wall up and now they're paying attention to that you know I shouldn't have been that guarded I shouldn't have had that wall up I shouldn't have had that boundary this is a very defensive energy this is the kind of energy that when you're trying to do something good for someone it doesn't matter how good it is if this person has that defensive energy they're not going to see the light until maybe down down the way. And that's kind of the energy I'm getting here. This person feels very drawn towards you. Very curious about you. Like they can't get enough. But in the same sense. They feel like. For some of you. They feel like they could have definitely missed their opportunity. Because there has been an ending here. Now the Ten of Swords is a card to me where it says an ending needed to happen. For a new beginning to even be possible. The Ten of Swords is a. You know we have no way to go. But to this ending. So, I feel like this person does know deep down. what That's what I was about to say. That this had to happen. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. This person knows and feels deep down that the ending to what they felt was their happiness needed to happen. Why? I have a feeling I know why, but I'm going to ask why. Because this person needed to make changes. This person needed to make shifts. This person needed to be willing to let things crumble and be willing to go towards a new beginning. And I feel like, again, the lack of a new beginning and the, the push of an ending made this person maybe even see things differently. You know, I'm getting a lack of commitment. Yeah. Maybe even a sense of passion for what's to come. Being willing to close those cycles, do things differently. You know, with the world, those cycles could be something as simple as doing the same thing over and over, even though we're unhappy. That could be dealing with the same people, working at the same job, telling ourselves, no, I don't want that, but realizing deep down, you kind of do. So I feel like this person really is starting to see that an ending had to happen. How are they feeling about this ending? Okay. They feel like they're ready to move forward and go towards a new beginning. You know, interesting how I said justice and justice is coming up. It's like this person does know that this is how they're going to get towards wish fulfillment. You know, again, it's so interesting because I feel like this person, if they really sat there and detached themselves from their emotions and from the parts of them that are scared and the parts of them that are so unbalanced right now, they would see again that everything is happening for me, not to me. And this is giving me and stripping me of the things that has made me comfortable or the things I didn't want to change so I can get a new sense of passion for life again, a, a new spark. You know, when we go through really hard times in life and something shifts for us, we can find ourselves just enjoying the little things, whether it's a cup of coffee or the yogurt that you're eating, or maybe it's just driving your car. Maybe there's just a day where you're sitting there and you really take a second to be like, wow, you know, if this wouldn't have happened and if this wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have this now. And I'm feeling a sense of passion and a sense of spark for where my life is right now. And I feel like that's where this person's getting, okay? But there is a lot of hard feelings right now, heavy feelings. Why is this person feeling heavy feelings? Why is this person feeling such heavy feelings towards Pisces? That's what I'm fucking saying. Page of Swords. So we have a double Page of Swords. The more that they sit there and watch... 
and try to get to know more and try to make sense of things, the more that it messes with them. I feel like this person's holding back, but also holding on at the same time. What's changing in this person's life? Interesting. You know, there's been a blockage here of this person moving forward, getting the ability to maybe get to the season that you're in, feeling like they've done the work. I feel like this person feels that they don't match you 150%. What do I mean by that? So this person could definitely feel like they're on a slower path so maybe things come to you quicker. Maybe things are easier for you. And I'm quoting that because nothing's easy for any of us. At the end of the day, we can view that something's easier for them, but that doesn't mean that it is. That's just the way that we view it. I feel like this person wants to communicate about something. How's this person viewing this connection? I feel like this has been all over the place. And I feel like that's this person's energy. So that's what I'm getting. They view it as something that maybe come in very quickly, something that was fun. This could be something. So the Nine of Cups isn't a long-term card. That's a wish fulfillment, but that could also be like a one-night stand kind of energy. This could also be the kind of energy where we had fun. You know, it it was really great while it lasted, but it didn't last long. I feel like it come very, I feel like you guys got together very quick. And that's how this person views this connection. This connection come together very, very quickly. Maybe neither one of you were really taking your brain into this connection. Neither one of you were really thinking, you know, let's have those conversations. Let's talk about your 10-year plan. What do you see for your future? Are you saving for your retirement? Are you planning on doing this? What do you think about when you live with someone? What does that look like for you? Because not everybody wants to live together. Not everybody wants to share money. And I feel like those conversations needed to be had, but I feel like this person views this connection as maybe either them or you both just kind of getting into something so quickly that neither one of you thought, thought it through. I don't feel like they regret that, but I feel like there is a sense here of them having a hard time maybe moving forward. Again, they feel like they're on a slower path than you. They want to match you, but there is a little bit of, I feel incapable. But there's also a little bit of, but I'm also realizing that I'm having boundaries and I'm keeping myself in an energy of not getting what I want. What's the universe doing? Okay, wait. What's the blockage here? Is there a blockage? Again, the world. So, completing cycles. And again, maybe one of you is, I don't want to say better at, maybe one of you is more experienced at closing cycles and not holding on to things that doesn't serve you. And that could be the blockage here. Give me more for the blockage. Yep. Holding back. Holding back, maybe unsure. That's what I was about to say. Unsure if victory and success is possible. Unsure if we can move this forward. What's the universe doing to help this unfold? The Empress tried to flip. I feel like the universe is really trying to bring growth, expansion, the ability to maybe see something more. The universe is trying to get this person to listen to their stinking intuition. The universe is trying to push this person and say, what, what means the most to you? You know, the Ten of Pentacles can mean someone choosing a job over love, but it can also mean someone choosing a family foundation, a legacy, something that makes them fulfilled. This person really needs to use their intuition and to drop the parts of them that's not been serving this connection. There's clarity, there's truth here that needs to be had. A reason spoken for why this has taken so long. This is interesting. This part... You know, and I was thinking in my mind, what else is this, what else is the universe trying to help teach this person? And the five of pentacles tried to come out. The universe is trying to teach this person that, you know, you're feeling left out. You're feeling sad for a reason. Pisces has done the work. Pisces is taking those actions where if you're feeling guided to call someone, you do it. If you're feeling guided to text someone, you do it. If you're feeling called to do something, you do it. You don't there's an energy here with whoever this Pisces is, there's a sense that you're willing to be vulnerable. You're willing to go hard, play hard. You're willing to laugh, goof off, but enjoy the people that you love the most. And I feel like, again, there was always an energy here where maybe you couldn't get this person off your mind and you never quite understood it. But time apart's brought clarity. Time apart has brought this person, I just heard the ability 
to feel the remorse. So I don't know if this person tried to push themselves. Again, that would make sense though. The seven of wands, that's that boundary, that's that wall, that's that defensive energy. And remember me telling you, it's kind of like a, a three-year-old. You know, you try to feed your three-year-old. Here you go. Here's you some food. I don't want that. Very defensive energy. All I'm trying to do is feed you. Lose the attitude. That's the kind of energy here. And I feel like this person has remorse, regret. And I feel like time apart's brought that clarity. You know, and I do see that this person could want to come in and recommit. I see you asking yourself, though, is this what I'm wanting? Because you're on a different, I just heard timeline. Okay, you're, and I don't want to say path. You're on a different journey. And the journey is to ultimately, again, choose yourself. That's what we said at the beginning. You've gotten to a point where you choose yourself. No matter how loved you want to be, no matter how much of this person you want to be, if it jeopardizes who you are morally, who you feel you should be, and who makes you happy, I mean, you're not going to sacrifice that for this person or for a dream of a connection that you feel like is never going to happen. What is this no contact hiding and keeping to their self? Not of wands. Okay, so they want to come in with a passionate offer very quickly. They could also, you know, I feel like this person could be hiding and keeping to their self that they actually want to invest with you. But this person, God, with the Knot of Wands, I feel like this person's intentions is good. But I feel like with the Knot of Wands coming in towards you, it could be a little like, can't you approach me any other way? But this person's spine, this is the second, or no, the third Page of Swords card, y'all. I'm telling you. This person could definitely be trying to maybe learn or dig up if you're investing with anyone else. Seeing that things are working in your favor because you took the path of a new beginning. One that has truth. One that has clarity. I just heard one where the person will give me the answers I need. What else is this person hiding and keeping to their self? Give me more for this knot of wands. Having the strength. This person feels like they lack the strength to maybe come in and have a conversation with you. To reach out to you. It has everything to do with fear and their shadow side. So there's something that's happened to this person in the past. And I don't know exactly what it is. We're not going to dig into it, whether it's childhood, whether it's a past relationship. But there's something here where when it comes to this person, they want to offer you something. But maybe they have the tendency of attracting or, excuse me, approaching you in a very passionate way. Because they're very passionately drawn towards you. Because they do want you. But I feel like they feel that they lack the strength. To reach out and have a conversation. You know, this is the kind of person who wants to text you and be like, God, you're looking good today if they see you. But they write it and then delete it because they don't feel like they have the strength or the confidence to send that. This person doesn't feel very confident. But this person does feel like you're some sort of wish fulfillment. This person could also feel like they're having a hard time balancing something out in their life their independence, their stability. This person could definitely be indulging a lot as well right now. You might not know that. This person could be drinking a lot, going to parties, going to the bar. I heard to get you off my mind. And what's interesting is when I, when I heard that, I seen that scene from Practical Magic again where the guy is drinking and you remember, I don't know if you've seen it, but in the movie, he's drinking and he's got alcohol in his hand and he's singing, you were always on my mind. That's what I hear. And that's what I'm getting. It's like, even if this person is trying to go out and have fun and drink and do the things that they feel that they need to do for them not to think of you, <laughs> it don't work. Okay. And that's all I can see is you were always on my mind. Oh my God. I love that movie. 
And why is that? As I said it, the two of cups come out because this person feels like you are their soulmate, their twin flame, the person that they love, the person that makes them happy, and they cannot get you off their flip flopping mind. And that has been the energy non-stop for a few weeks now, which makes sense. Feeling like they lack the strength to have a communication. And the communication has to do with how much they love you. How, many, how much feelings they actually do have for you. This person could actually be in love with you, Pisces. This person wants a sense of stability with you. For some of you, this person could want a sort of marriage or something of that. This person could have also had something happen here recently in their stability that ended, whether they moved. Something could have happened. They could have lost an animal. They could have moved. They could have lost a job. They could have changed cars. Something in their stability changed. I mean, let's not get too, too flip-flopping deep. It could be something as simple as I got new living room furniture. You never know. But this person is saying, you know, I have so much to invest, but my fear told me otherwise, and I wasn't willing to give a new beginning. And maybe this person did gain a lot of wisdom for, again, the lesson that you guys went through together. But the only other lesson that they're getting is with the third page of swords is that there's a reason that they can't quit watching. There's a reason that they feel that they need to constantly know what you're up to, what you're doing, who you're seeing, who you're with. Mm. Okay. What's this person's hopes? They hope that they can give you an offer of love with the Page of Cups. I hope that I can have the strength and once and for all actually come back. Balance this out. Mm. Fight for this. It's like this person wants to come in and say, you don't know how lonely I am without you, how much I miss you. You know, and I know it's because I haven't told you, but me not knowing what you're feeling and thinking has been killing me. Meanwhile, I'm missing you. I want to talk to you. I feel like I don't have the strength to reach out to you and talk to you. Have you guys ever been in that kind of connection? I have where you really want to talk to somebody and you feel like you can't and you really yearn for them, but you feel like you can't. You know, it reminds me of that. Uh, I think it's Travis Tritt. I don't remember the name of it, but in the song it says, she stayed up all night and cried into her pillow and fought off the urge to just break down and call. Last night, something about finding the fault seems so darn easy, but now who's to blame do doesn't matter much at all. See, that's what I'm getting. It's like at one point, whatever happened in this connection, you both were just so like, no, this is what we're doing. And that's the reason for this separation, you know, and maybe you've cried tears, Pisces. Maybe you felt like you were losing yourself while you were also losing this person. But you also felt like, although you had the urge to call and reach out to this person and go see them, you always held it back. In that song, it says, she thinks if she calls him, it just shows weakness. So the words go on with every tear she cries. And it says the same thing for him as well. You know, at the end of the day, neither one of them reach out, reach out to one another. Holding your pride in place can really damage a connection. And I feel like one person here has really, really held their pride in place. And one person really got tired of giving so much and trying to make it work and trying to get the other person to communicate. Yeah, and I'm telling you, and it's really broke this person's heart. This person thinking that they were getting what they wanted was, in fact, not what they wanted at all. What I thought I wanted is not what I wanted. I wanted you. That's what I just heard. Yeah, but see, at one time, I feel like this person was like, you know, we're not the one. I'm not the one for you. I can't do this with you. I feel like this person is making excuses. I feel the sexual tension. Again, a lot of sexual tension. You speak to me through music. One more. I can't. 
can't do this. <sighs> Clarify that I can't do this. See, the eight of water. That's what I'm saying. It's like somebody's standing. You know, like when you stand on the side of a dock and you watch a ship leave? That's kind of what this person's seeing. You know, I don't know if I can let you go. But I also don't know if I can step up and have a conversation that I know I need to have. Damn, this person's energy is heavy. They want to have a reunion with you. But there's also a transformation here that's got to happen. I'm saying strongly that this person didn't understand either what was walking away from them or what they were walking away from. The I can't do this has everything to do with an, a reunion, getting back together, feeling a little at despair of maybe how much work and effort it is going to take to transform this. I would do it all over again. I just heard just to see you smile, I'll do anything that you wanted me to. I daydream about a life with you. I want to feel that way again. I can't get enough of you. You know, for some of you, this person's told their self over and over, Pisces is over you. Pisces has chose their self, which means that you're no longer this. You know, I feel like this person has told their self, Pisces isn't going to choose you, even if you have chose this person in the past. You know, because you've gotten to a place where you're choosing yourself. And I feel like it does worry and scare this person. Being there, using toxic. So let's get the future outcome. What's the outcome for this? You could be saying 111 a lot. Future outcome. Holy stinks. I don't I don't think I seen that coming. Let's get more. Future outcome. Ace of Cups. The hanged man. Someone changing their perspective when it comes to love. I'm telling you, this person had a really bad way of thinking or what this person viewed being that rock for someone, they didn't like it. They didn't like the way that it filled. It, you know, like when something happens and it leaves a bad taste in your mouth and then anytime after that, you're like, oh, I don't like the way that feels. Nope, I've done that before. I didn't like it. But then when you do it again, maybe it changes your thought because the experience is different example let's say you grew up in a town and you hate it you hate it you hate it you hate it and then you leave you come back and then you realize maybe i don't hate the town maybe i just hate the experiences that i had in this town those kind of things i feel like this person is starting to see that maybe maybe just maybe this person's made this a lot more complicated than it needed to be and that They've been feeling stuck when it comes to having a new emotional offer of love, but it's because it wasn't with the right person or the right people in the past. And I feel like this person is seeing that maybe, just maybe, <laughs> they actually want to be in control of their life and to, and to go on that journey. A journey that was once seemed so terrifying, so codependent. So maybe even toxic. For some of you, this person could have thought, you know, being married is toxic. Being that close to someone's toxic. There's a way that this person was thinking and being that we've seen this whole time that wasn't serving them. But when we said the future outcome, it looks like that this person is wanting to let something go. And it has everything to do with their intuition. And knowing that maybe even you're worth the investment. Maybe even. No, you are worth the investment. This person's had a hard time using their intuition, though. To be vulnerable. To drop that wall. To tell you that they miss you. To tell you that they love you. To reach out. To flirt. To, to spill those emotions and that love. And it has everything to do with either how they were raised, how, were they, how they were brought up, or what they feel is right. So, for some of you, this person could feel, you know... Telling my emotions is not right. It's none of your business. It could literally be the way that this person was raised or a truth that they feel like is... I mean, who are we to tell someone that what they feel is not right? You know? 
But there has been something here where there's been self-reflection, and I feel like this person knows that they want to come in and have some sort of communication. Because remember when I said that you got wounded? I feel like this person knows that you really tried to give to them. You were a gift to this person. And I feel like they feel that they, they really wounded you. And I don't feel like they meant to. I'm afraid that your feelings are not mutual for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the past, their ego was a huge, huge, huge factor here. I cannot listen to your voice. It affects my soul. I'm anxious, y'all. Okay, what do we got? I need to focus on my healing. One more. I'm sorry. I hurt you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This person felt broken when you met them. Again, there's a very, I'm broken. I don't want to be fixed. I can't be fixed. A very defensive energy. Not no more. All right, Pisces. We're going to leave that here. Have a blessed day.